years ago I had an opportunity to buy back the first dump truck my dad ever bought new. It was a 1988 Mack R model and I grew up in the passenger side of that truck in my car seat until I was old enough to ride without the car seat. About a year after that I had an opportunity to buy a couple of these Mack Granites at a good price. We brought them in and we were going to use them for hauling our antique trucks back and forth to the truck shows so we didn't have to pull one of our Peterbilts out of service to go to the truck shows. I started to appreciate the way the wiring and the plumbing was inside the chassis, that the fuel tanks, the ground clearance, and the bumper clearance was much better than the Peterbilts, that they were a rugged work truck that was built for what we do in the heavy haul industry. You know, as an owner-operator when I was younger, I wanted the 379 Peterbilt with the 550 cat and the 18 speed and the dual 7 inch exhaust and you know all the cool stuff that an owner operator wants, all the gauges. Seven, eight years later as a fleet owner, when I look at the Max, I look at a truck that I want as a fleet owner. You know, with one exhaust stack, it's not necessarily as cool, but what's cool is you don't have to get on the ground every time you want to get on the back of the truck, you can walk around the driver's side of the cab without getting burned. I'm Ken Butler. I work for D. Berardini's Heavy Haul. I drive a Mack GU713. It has a 400 5 horse Mack engine with an 18 speed. It's a triple axle truck, double frame, really good turning radius, uh, really good in tight situations. No matter how heavy or how light you are, the truck drives great. I've driven some stuff more powerful, but this truck gets the job done very well. My trucks were all the teal green effect from Peterbilt and that was because I had purchased a few trucks from Mark Strotter from Whisperwinds Trucking and I enjoyed the color, I liked it, it was classy. And I started talking to my dad, I said, you know, your colors are gray. When you were younger, they were burgundy and gold. I'm using green. I said, why, why did you make all the antique trucks red with black fenders? He told me a story about his friend Monique when he was a kid, saying that Monique had talked to his father and he was kind of disappointed that my father didn't use the same colors that his dad did when he was in the trucking business. And my grandfather's colors were red and black, so my dad said as a tribute, when he restores the trucks, he restores them to my grandfather's original business colors. I cut my teeth in old Macs before Macs were pretty with trucks with these colors. It makes me proud to drive this truck now because this truck takes me back to that time and proud because I get to drive something that Lou's grandfather was proud to have on, on his line. I had a special bond with my grandfather and it was pretty close to my heart so when we started doing these trucks not only did they match our antique fleet, it's like a heritage fleet bringing it back, it's in memory of my grandfather. <laughs> 